Hey guys, we're back again for another Speaking Specs. Today's not really about a skate in particular or a product in particular, but what we're going to talk today is about frame length and what the difference in frame length, what uh, what difference it has on the on your skating, and maybe in what conditions you want to use a certain fr frame length. Yeah, here I have the 3 times 125 cast at a light frame and it comes in a 255 millimeter length which is a 10 inch length so this is perfect length it's very short as you can see it's the shortest you can get on 3 times 125 so this actually makes the frame really agile so this is a big advantage of this also because if it's short it's really compact so it's quite stiff and strong because we don't have really long arms with it so it's really good for urban skating it's good for fitness skating and it's also reducing the weight because it's shorter a little bit but on the other hand this the advantages of a long frame actually it makes it more stable so this is a little bit unstable when you go really to high speeds or like downhill so you yeah, obviously in general traditionally the, the longer frames are seen on more racing skate models or high-end fitness models but as Matthias started to talk about the longer the frame the greater stability you'll have at higher speeds so this is the elite casted 12.5 inch 125 frame and actually it's one of the shorter uh, racing frames which is available in the 125s we go we have a 12.5 a 12.8 and a 13.0 over our various frame models so the general rule of thumb is the longer the frame the more stability you have but also the greater torque you'll have on the pushes too the, the flip side of that is you're going to have a little bit less maneuverability with the longer frames so I mean most of you'll see guys like Bart Swings and Felix Ryan and, our, and the big guys they'll all race on a 13-0 because they're doing the marathon in around about an hour but guys like Matthias and myself that are banging around in about an hour 10 <coughs> on a good day <laughs> <laughs> we're more like 12-5, 12-8 kind of guys and a lot of the girls like you know, Kathy Rumpus will be using a 12-5 some of the some of the stronger girls would also go up to a 128 so it's a it's a little bit personal preference what you're looking for in the racing models but i mean over all frames a general rule of thumb like we said longer the frame the greater stability you have the more push you'll have but you're going to sacrifice maneuverability right like you said you have a longer stride and a longer push so on this the short one gives you a faster footwork you're more agile you're better edge to edge so it's more really for urban skating for fitness skating and also a little bit to have more fun so that's basically the main difference in the lengths so it could be the same frame but the difference actually the length difference makes a huge difference in skating and performance and a little bit in the top speed too yeah, that's a good thing. And I mean, uh, like, for example, when Bart Swings did that 56 minutes in Berlin, that was on a 13-0, because obviously those kind of speeds, you need that longer length. But maybe if you're cruising through the town or the city or whatever, then you want to drop down to the, uh, something like a 10-inch frame like this, just for that maneuverability. And the good thing, for example, is here with our Trinity mounting, we offer so many frames set up in different lengths, so it's easy to exchange. So even using the same boot, you can have different sizes of frames on it, so you can enjoy the advantages of a short or of a long frame on both the same boot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.